Whenever you're flying your drone along in a straight line, does it always feel like it's moving off to one side? If so, we've got a fix that's really easy and we'll talk about how to do it in this video. Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning On, and if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button below. But this video should be really useful if you have this problem. Very often from drone operators, we see this complaint that my drone is flying along in a straight line, but it's always going off in one direction or the other and they are just baffled as to how to solve it. Now, very commonly, this is because of controller calibration. And within the app, there is an option to actually calibrate the control sticks of your controller, because sometimes they'll be a little bit offset on the calibration, and that can cause a slight bit of movement when you're in forward flight. However, if you've already done that and the problem is still not fixed, then I think we might have the solution for you here. When you're flying your drone along, the vision that you have is through the camera, of course, the gimbal on the front of the drone. Now, for the drone, to appear to be flying in a completely straight line, the gimbal has to be pointing directly forward in line with the drone. But of course, if that gimbal is slightly off just by a couple of degrees to the left or the right, then you're gonna get the impression that when you're flying forward, your drone is actually sliding in a different direction. So put simply, the root cause of why your drone is drifting in one direction or the other can be as simple as needing a slight yaw adjustment on your gimbal. I'll show you how to do it right now. It's a little bit windy today in Sweden, but I've got the Mavic 2 Pro with me. I'm gonna show you how to solve it for this drone, but straight after I'll show you how to also solve it with the Mavic Air 2. If you wanna skip straight to that fix, then just click the time code in the video description below and I'll show you how. Anyway, let's get straight to identifying if you've got this problem in the first place. So the first thing we're gonna do here is diagnose if we actually have this issue. And the best way to do that is to find something straight like, for example, this lovely jetty right here. What I'm gonna do is first of all, get the drone nicely and aligned, pointing straight down it. Make sure when you're doing this, there's nobody around, of course, because you don't want anybody in the vicinity when you're doing this test. And what you need to do is line the drone up as if it's pointing straight down it, just like that. What we're then going to do, we're gonna descend a little bit and then we're going to basically just give a forward input straight down the jetty as if we're going to fly directly down it. And if everything is as it should be, the drone will go straight down the middle of it. But as you can see, ours is going off quite substantially to the left. So it's important that we remember the left. And if we carry on going down, you can see it's still going off further to the left. That shows us that we've got the issue. Now, if you do this and you have no issue at all and it's just carrying straight down the jetty, then you don't have the problem with the gimbal. But now we're gonna show you how to fix it. Our drone drifted off to the left. So remember that we're gonna go into the settings and then to the gimbal and then the adjust gimbal settings. Now, instead of the roll, which we'd normally be editing, we're gonna alter the yaw. So at the top there where it says roll in blue, click yaw instead. Now you remember that our drone drifted off to the left and that means that our gimbal is pointing a little bit to the right. So what we're gonna do is adjust it left. So on the left hand side, we're gonna alter that by a few increments, not substantially, but just enough as an initial test. So we're gonna go with three for now, like that, then click done. Now what we're gonna do is reset the drone. So we're gonna go back to where we were at the beginning of the jetty and we're gonna position ourselves again, make sure there's nobody around. I'm sat right next to it here so I can see those people walking by and I know that they're not coming down here. Turn around and we'll rotate ourselves and position it just ready to fly down the jetty again, like so. Okay, again, position yourself directly down the jetty so that it's exactly in the middle. You can even enable the grid at this point if that helps you to angle it. Okay. And then we're gonna fly straight down the jetty, same again, just a forward pitch motion. And you'll notice that this time it's flying pretty much straight down the middle, much, much better. And that means we've solved the issue. Now it's important not to do this test when it's windy because naturally in wind, your drone will deviate a little bit from its course. So try it on a still day. Also, if after making a minor adjustment, it's not enough, go back into the adjust gimbal settings and tweak it a little bit more. What we'll now do is jump into the DJI Fly app and talk about how to solve this for the Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic Mini. 
So as promised, the process is very simple on the Mavic Air 2 and also the Mavic Mini via the DJI Fly app. Here you can see we're in our interface here. If I now click the little dots in the top right hand corner, and that brings me to the menu. And then you need to be on the control menu at the top, then scroll down until you see gimbal calibration. Click on that option. We're not gonna use the automated calibration. Instead, we're gonna press the button that says manual. And from there, we can now change, as you can see, the horizontal and the yaw. Now we're just gonna use the yaw and you can do it exactly the same as just demonstrated on the Mavic 2 by simply adjusting the yaw left and right, exactly the same. And just a reminder, if when you fly straight, your drone drifts to the left, then you need to adjust your gimbal to the left. So hopefully that solved this frustrating issue where you think your drone's flying straight, but it's actually not. If this did help you to solve it, then please do comment below and share this video to the Facebook groups that you're in because so many people have this issue and they're stumped as to how to solve it. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you can't walk in a straight line and click that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.